lefties. Where's that? That's the camera's oh, right there. You wanna look there? Hey lefties, this is leftist ASMR and my friend Katie. You can say hello. You shouldn't say oh you said and, yeah. Hi. <laughs> um and today uh like Katie's been visiting me from okay, well just a little backstory. Not backstory, but more information. Katie it was visiting her mom for Christmas family in New Jersey and we're from like right outside of New York and New Jersey and I live in New York so Katie has been quarantining for the past two what, month actually Long time. and so she was like why don't I stop by and say hello before I go back to, to DC where she lives so she's been staying with me for the past two days and Katie wanted to be in another ASMR video yeah I was begging <laughs> um, and as you may remember she was actually already in one of my ASMR videos and I'll put the link in the description box below for, I think it had to do with talking to your racist white family members and like what to say to them. Yes. Um, so you may remember her face, but today we're going to do a video about, it's like a more of a lighthearted video just about like high school and like how we met, how we became friends, just like funny stories about that stuff. Um, I thought you might like to enjoy it, just like a long whis whispering, whispering ramble. Uh, and Katie has an amazing ASMR voice, so. Eric and I are literally obsessed with talking about our, like, high school friendship. We just, like, love living in nostalgia and, like, talking about funny stories and, like, remembering funny things that the other person did. We could talk about it literally all day, so we'll try not to bore you, but we literally love this. Yeah, exactly. So, um, Katie has, like, a whole list on her phone right now yeah. um, of, like, different stories that we remember. <laughs> that we were just like thinking of the past few days that we wanted to talk about. And then we also have some pictures to go along with some of the stories, yeah. which Katie also has on her phone, which I'll add on the screen so you can see it sometime during the video. Uh, and then if like we have pictures that don't go along with the story, I'll just add them in at the end. So you can see like me and Katie as adorable high schoolers. We also love looking at pictures of ourselves, so. <laughs> um, yes, so we're gonna start now. Katie has the first story ready to go. Well, so, okay. Just like a sandwich, probably, but she would always pack me dinner. And Katie's mom 
like always gave her like some money to go to Burger King for us to eat. <laughs> and so like we would always go with Katie to Burger King to get food. And the funny thing was is that I would get so jealous because I would be eating like a peanut butter and jelly and Katie would have like chicken nuggets and like french fries and like I'd be so mad about it. But the funny thing is at the Burger King I would always have carrots. My mom would always pack me carrots and I would always ask for like 10 um, buffalo sauces, like free buffalo sauces to dip the carrots in while Katie was eating like good food. Just so and, you could like pretend to experience work. <laughs> <laughs> and the people who worked there were like around our age, yeah. like, and they probably went to the same high school. And so I would always ask them and be like, oh, can I have like 10 buffalo sauces? And he'd be like, are you going to buy anything? And I'd be like, no. <laughs> so that's, that's just the story. It was good.
know where this is going. Like, I didn't read the phone. I don't know what the story is. <laughs> yes, you do. What other story would it be? One day, Eric was changing. And, like, just, like, Classic was changing. Oh. And, like, his legs spread as fuck. And, like, just could fully see his entire penis. And I remember being like, oh, my God. Like, this is a huge moment. I've seen Eric's penis. Oh, my God. <laughs> but I told you. Remember? If then we were, like, at a competition, I made a huge
them so we can just come home, like, not a big deal. But, like, they would know you're suspects. <laughs> oh, my God, they think we, like, murdered them.
story was basically just that, like, met this guy. Met guy. He's like, the story was that I'm gay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Funny. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah. the Katie's drama, again, like, irrelevant. We're not trying to unpack all that, but it was a falling out between her and some friends. And I remember, like, it was super dramatic in the school, because, like, just Katie, like, I don't know, just was popular, quote, unquote. So That's, people. I wouldn't say it that way. But people knew. People knew who she was, and people knew her. Just like, I caused a shitstorm. <laughs> people, like, knew about the drama she was involved with. Um, and this one girl was, like, so, like, random and irrelevant. I would say her name was, her name wasn't, but I would say her name was Sarah. <laughs> like, I was friends with Katie, and people knew that. So my senior year of high school, I was just walking in the hallway. And this random girl, Sarah, walked up to me and she was go, she goes, Eric, I just want you to know that, like, I'm team Katie, like, I'm on your side, like, I want you to know, like, that I fully support you and Katie. And I was like, that is so dramatic and awful, like, so funny, because I have no idea who you are, like, I don't know who you are. It's so funny. Oh my god, <laughs> Eric literally loves talking about my drama of all sorts, high school especially, but literally all my drama, so...
And the more that I get mad, the more Eric thinks it's funny. Katie's like digging in the ice cream with her hand to get the cookie. So we're both like rushing Eric and I'm like, I'm gonna get out the cookie dough and he's like digging into the thing like I eating. Know, Katie takes her hand to get the cookie dough and I'm like eating out all the cookie doughs as quickly as possible. Katie, like before, is reaching into my mouth with her fingers to grab the cookie dough. Okay, so basically it's a big mess. There's cookie dough ice cream flying everywhere. Just like causing such a scene for no literally no reason and it's like mostly my fault but there is really no nothing that warranted warrants katie's violent reaction um I so i understand that i reacted harshly i didn't need to literally attack him after eating one cookie dough but at the same time like we made a promise for him not to eat the cookie doughs i know that it's dramatic but i'm like i wanted the cookie doughs i wanted them all yeah like i need you guys to tell in the comments what you would have done like would you be mad if you promised someone if you think Katie was overreacting and or not overreacting but if you don't think her reaction was warranted to like literally be violent if you think violence was warranted like I don't know a lot of these stories are like me beating you up it's not well <laughs> um yeah so next story so our next story takes place at um like our favorite place which is not well because it's like obviously an unwell food giant corporation but it's the McDonald's I love McDonald's we love McDonald's I and really we do. don't are awful but also specific mcdonald's we but do i be on mcdonald's a lot yeah yeah um anyway so we spent like so many days literally hanging out at the mcdonald's which is like classic suburb vibes um but also just like us vibes and so every day we would go and get like mcflurries and french fries and stuff in one day um eric <laughs> i don't know why i love this story eric went to go get the mcdonald's um like new milkshake right? it was like the dulce de leche so they were like advertising the Dulce de Leche milkshake. It was like caramel. Um, it's super like they're advertising it everywhere. So I was like, oh my god, I want this milkshake so bad. Like, like on TV, everywhere. It's the Dulce de Leche, Dulce de Leche. Like you gotta try the Dulce de Leche shake. So I was like, I've gotta try it. I get the Dulce de Leche shake at McDonald's with Katie, and I'm like, okay, can I have one Dulce de Leche shake? Like, can I just get one? And she was like, the person working there was like, oh, so like chocolate or vanilla. And I was like, um... Eric's like, um, don't say the leche. <laughs> I'm like, I think don't say the leche. She's like, chocolate or vanilla. <laughs> I'm like, oh, like, so there's like the, literally the huge poster that says don't say the leche shake behind me. So I'm like, I'm like, I don't know, like, the don't say the leche. And then he's like, maybe like, there's a chocolate don't say the leche and a vanilla don't say the leche. <laughs> so I was like, chocolate. <laughs>
dark, you got to zero boobs because you were gay. And I was like, yeah, like, I guess I did, didn't I? And I was like, yeah, you did. Like, you're welcome. Um, so yeah, that's, I think that's all the stories. Just so goofy. Yeah, our last moment is just the fact that when Eric was leaving for college, we had the most dramatic goodbye, which feels really fitting for our whole friendship, because we still to this day love to, like, go and walk around our high school and just, like, be nostalgic. Right or justified in the cookie dough story. Um, and then subscribe.